Welcome to Tulip Flower watercolor painting tutorial and we will be painting pink parrot tulip and making prints for Patreon Artwork Mail Club. Outline drawing is done on transparent paper. On the other side I'm applying layer of graphite with a graphite stick. Place it back to your paper, align so it is in the center and with a pencil I'm going over all the lines and transferring it to my original paper. All details, the smallest ones, should be transferred. Don't leave anything out. If it's not transferred you will not paint it. removing off and we are seeing graphite marks. We still need to go over with a very thin pencil and those marks should be very light. Be sure that your lines are thin and don't push too hard. Now with an elastic eraser removing the excess amount of graphite off the paper by rolling over the paper. Now we can start mixing watercolors. Applying water to color palette. For this tulip I'm using Sennelier Red, Permanent Rose, Pearl and Maroon, Lemon Yellow. I encourage you to try watercolor pigments that you already have in your paint box. Mix, experiment. The more you will experiment with your pigments, the more you will understand how to mix the exact color that you need. Starting painting process, be sure that your water is clean after mixing watercolors. First layers are very transparent, very light, placing color tones in places, leaving light area and more watercolors into shadow area. Carefully and transparently with round synthetic brush applying first watery layers of watercolors. With finer tip brush, more finer brush strokes, we can see in the reference that this tulip has a lot of fine brush strokes visible on petals. Adding gradually and transparently, building realistic look slowly and transparently. Full tutorial of this parrot tulip painting is available on my Patreon from the very beginning till the finishing touches explaining all the process, how I approach, which color mixes I'm using. After first layer is done, wait a few moments till it's completely dry, till the surface is super dry and then with eraser you can erase some graphite marks that are still visible but that is only possible if you paint it transparently. And painting further with next layers, applying more watercolors, more finer brush strokes gradually and transparently building layers, building saturation. Don't try to paint what you see in reference in few layers. If you will paint with very saturated watercolor mixes you will end up with a flat looking painting. If you want to get vibrancy and rich three-dimensional look it's all about layering. Watercolors are a transparent medium and we need to keep this transparency all along. No matter how many layers, better to have them transparent and then you will end with rich and beautiful looking painting. If you go straight away with super saturated watercolor mixes, your painting can look dull or flat. Fine brush strokes, painting one petal at a time, careful with outer edges, and the most important, 
careful observation of the reference, all information is there. Moving on to the next petal, starting with round synthetic brush on the dry surface and also my watercolor mixes are quite dry, very small amount of moist is in the, on the color palette and adding lemon yellow on the side, I see in the reference that there is more yellowish color on both sides of these petals. and constantly checking reference, how it looks there, where are some darker areas, some lighter areas. Careful observation of the reference is very important. Moving forward slowly and accurately, building saturation of this tulip. Brush stroke after brush stroke. It takes time, patience and a lot of layers, but the result is worth it. Here is the side view of my fine brush strokes, how I'm, I'm applying them and how my brush is touching the surface. As you can see, working is all, in the work is only the very tip of the brush. Here is the view from the side. As you can see, I always have my paper towel in the left hand and I'm removing some excess amount of pigment in the paper towel very often while I'm painting. Applying darker brush strokes of indigo and sap green. Again, don't overpaint this area. Leave room for improvement to the very end. We can always go darker, it's harder to keep light areas light. And it is also important to take little breaks while you are working because eyes can get tired, hands can get tired, so it's always good to take little breaks, go for a walk, have a cup of tea, and I will show you the contrast that I have while I'm taking a break. So I have spring on my table. Then I have these beautiful greens that will soon gonna be a flowers. And then let me show you what is happening outside. We are in deep, deep snow. It's, it's snowing for the last three days I think. Kids are having fun but me not so much. <laughs> and here is newest addition to my greenery. This beautiful orchid flower. And now let's get back to painting. Let's paint anterns and stamen. Here is a side view again to show you how my brush is working on the surface with a stippling with the very tip of the brush I'm applying the mix of indigo, pearl and violet and little touch of transparent yellow. When all petals are done now I look an overall view for this tulip and adding final touches, more contrast in some areas, more brush strokes, giving extra final touches to make it more vivid and more realistic. It's all about pushing yourself a little bit further with each new brush stroke. Work is done 
and I'm quite happy with the result. Each month I choose an artwork that I painted and I'm sending it to my artwork mail club Patreons. And this month I decided to send pink parrot tulip. Scanning, editing, removing background, printing. First I print test prints and see how it looks. Are the color tones correct compared to original preparing all work? Cutting paper. First test, not quite right. Second one, much closer, but still. Printing on high quality fine art paper for inkjet printers and I'm really happy with the result. Switching off, what is happening outside? Mm, my friend is sleeping right beside me. Thank you for watching this tutorial and process of making prints. See you in my next tutorials. Bye bye!